In the past year, we've seen snow, severe weather, and even tornadoes in the viewing area. News 18's Amber Hardwick has a recap of some of the biggest weather events in 2013. Oh. Over the past year, the viewing area has had its fair share of weather events, from winter storms leaving large snow accumulations, severe thunderstorms, and tornadoes leaving damage. On March 25th, an early spring snowstorm swept through the state and left about 10 inches of snow in Tippecanoe County. It's absolutely crazy, is the only thing I can say. <laughs> Warren and Fountain counties were the hardest hit in the viewing area. Those areas saw between 10 and 12 inches of snow. The storm caused emergency officials to declare a travel warning, meaning only emergency crews were allowed on the roads. Just ready for a little bit of warm weather. I'm tired of being stuck and digging out everywhere. And when the warmer temperatures arrived, so did the severe weather. On July 11th, severe thunderstorms left damage on Peru's west and south sides. It's just incredible looking around um, at, at, at some of the houses that have been smashed and the trees down. And this is the park where I used to play in a um, long time back um, as a kid and where I took my daughter for a long time. The National Weather Service later confirmed there was an EF1 tornado with wind speeds approximately at 95 miles per hour. We'll recuperate and we'll pick up and people are already starting to rebuild and so that's what Peru is all about. Another severe weather event occurred later in the fall. It was the tornado outbreak on November 17th. The tornadoes left homes, schools, and factories severely damaged. It was tearing it apart like it was just a cardboard box. I mean, the, the, the siding was just getting ripped apart without hesitation. It was just, everything was just flying everywhere. Southern Tippecanoe County, Kokomo, and Malat were a few hard hit areas. Pam Roberts was one storm victim who lost her home. Roberts and her three dogs were in her mobile home when the storms arrived. She was later found under a pile of debris. I started tumbling head over heels. Everything, I, I think I can remember about tumbling about two, maybe three times before I got knocked out. Roberts and her dogs made it out of the debris safely, but she suffers from numerous back fractures. The National Weather Service confirmed there were 28 tornadoes in Indiana that day, and the strongest was rated in EF3. It's known as the third largest tornado outbreak in Indiana. I've never been afraid of storms. But, you know, but I'm going to pay more attention now. Only a few weeks later, Indiana was hit with significant snowfall. About seven inches of snow fell in the Lafayette area. It caused numerous slide offs and wrecks. So it's not always the driver's fault, but usually if we can reduce speed enough, you will reduce your chances of crashing. 2013 was an eventful year for weather in Indiana. From snowstorms to tornadoes, we'll see what the Indiana weather brings in 2014. Amber Hardwick, News 18.